there is a story that's been on our list for a long time. I've always wanted to test it. The myth is that a standard household vacuum cleaner has enough suction to lift a car. Come on, baby. Now, I figure that the trick to this is to make the mother of all attachments to increase the surface area of the vacuum cleaner's input so that the amount of suction I create exceeds the weight of the car, and thus I can get it off the ground. So what you're trying to say is that as far as the attachment goes, size matters. Indeed it does. To find out if this impossible-sounding tall tale can be true, the guys are starting small with a standard vacuum and hose trying to lift a five-pound weight which eventually it does. OK, so that's just barely enough to hold on to that five pounds. It is. Our previous method was what we call the octopus arm method and involved many different caps distributed across the whole of the car. And that turned out to be completely 100% wrong. So now we are going with a method we call the box method. I don't know how do we come up with these names, but um, it's just a gift we have. Instead of 40 points of failure, we now have three. Three big, sturdy wooden boxes made out of plywood, sealed with a gasket between them and the car. We pull a vacuum from them with a manifold. I think this is going to work. We're going to build some boxes. We're going to lift this car. These boxes are best to be thought of as the workers we are using to lift the car. So far here, all three boxes are saying, hell yeah, I can lift that car. Well, to find out, it's back to Treasure Island for some predictable preparation. Looks really nice. First, the guys position the steel cradle above the car. I think that looks good. It's right over the rear view mirror. Then they add the boxes to the trunk. A little more, a little top. Perfect. Roof. Yeah, that's tight. And hood. Nice. Next, they secure the boxes to the cradle. I think we're good. With that, the guys bring in the crane. That's good. Before Adam adds the vital ingredient, the vacuum cleaner. Starting the vacuum in three, two, one. But with the vacuum on, the news is good. It's climbing. It's climbing? Yeah. As the crane takes up the slack. Ah! Come on, baby. Hold on to this car the car does start to rise. Yes, it's off the ground. This freaking car is off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, dude, we are lifting a car with nothing but a single vacuum. Remember, the crane is lifting the steel cradle. Holy. <laughs> there you go. That's about how we're feeling here. But it's the vacuum cleaner on its own. This is every bit as satisfying as I was hoping it would be. That's sucking the cradle to the car. That is freaking <laughs> awesome! <laughs> and to prove just that, once the car is maxed out, Jamie's going to pull the plug on the cleaner. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> so, and if anyone needs to lift a car with a vacuum, don't call us. We've done it once. We don't want to do it again. <laughs> Who would think a vacuum cleaner was hiding so much suction power? I know. Cool story. Thanks.